Uh, here we have uh, more on the um, overall uh, kernels. We have, um, and these actually even list you the use cases. Um, so when it says one to five across opposite classic database, uh, which gives one example here, the uh, National Archives. Uh, it says that use cases one through five exhibit that. Actually, I think more of them do, but these are just ones I identified. Um, as we'll discuss a little later on, uh, NoSQL is going to be very important, and databases built on NoSQL are growing in importance. So HBase is an important technology here. And then we found um, media applications, search applications, health applications, artificial intelligence, and network science, all of which are wanted to use NoSQL to store their data. And then they would typically, uh, once they're in a NoSQL database, such as uh, Cassandra or MongoDB, it is somewhat easier typically to apply uh, modern data and an analytics and machine learning to them. That's because uh, NoSQL tends to distribute the data in a, an intuitive fashion, um, consistent with the parallels of the big data problem across the nodes of the computing system. Uh, we also, some applications just process data. They don't even care too much what's in it. If you're adding metadata, that's sort of true. And certainly if you're doing backup, it doesn't really matter what's in the data. It just matters how big it is and where it needs to be backed up. Uh, we've already pointed out GIS, geographical information systems. Uh, that's needed whenever you see um, a spatial structure and big data. And anything connected with earth and physics and engineering, they all tend to be three dimensions. And therefore, uh, you'll get the GIS being important. Um, we Another class are just built around hosts of sensors. Or sensors are again the Internet of Things. And um, there are, I think, eight such applications there. Pleasingly, Parallel really pointed out how important that was. And um, that can involve actually uh, quite a lot of computing at each uh, point, like in the part of the. Uh, um, Sun analysis and large hadron collider. It takes 10 to 20 seconds to analyze each event. Um, after that, we mentioned uh, high performance computing assimilated with observational data. And uh, simulation is a way of using the data to improve the simulation. Because uh, inevitably, inevitably, when you were doing weather simulations, for example, you don't have enough data to be precise. We already pointed out why agents were important. And also why we need to do data fusion, which is sometimes called knowledge management. Uh, these are rather wishy-washy, <coughs> undefined things, because they're built at the high level on top of the core analytics. And then finally, we pointed out that crowdsourcing is a key algorithm in some cases. That's where you harness the power of the people to do the analysis. Um, after that, we can give some details of the machine learning used. Um, but mo most of the use cases actually, not just some, but most really don't give you enough detail to pinpoint the analytics. Uh, there are algorithms like latent division allocation, which um, are used for classifying documents uh, in an unbiased fashion. There are many such algorithms. There are several four cases here of that. We mentioned ego, large scale optimization as an important class. Uh, recommender systems were started off in um, information retrieval, but uh, sorry, in e commerce and places like that. Uh, they are now becoming uh, built into lots of different applications. Learning neural networks are a particular way of optimizing automatically from big data. Graph algorithms are often, as we will see, the most uh, Efficient way of solving problems. Um, when we come to machine learning, uh, we can let's look at the global ones. Those are the big problems, and then you can see um, at least two different classes. Uh, one like support vector machine, 
have a computational complexity of order the number of points in the data set, whereas uh, something like multidimensional scaling goes uh, like the square of the number of points in the data set. Uh, 